Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's April 26th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk out on the West Coast. David, thanks for taking some time today. So this morning, we saw our first look at first quarter GDP. We also got some interesting data on in the inflation outlook. What did we find? Yeah, so this week, all eyes were on economic data. Um, as you mentioned, first quarter GDP, it grew at uh, an annualized rate of 1.6%, which is well off the 2.5% predicted. Um, and if we think about fourth quarter last year, that was actually 3.4%. So again, um, we're seeing a little bit of a uh, slower growth in the U.S. economy. Um, and then you pair that with the core CPE, which rose 3.7% on an annualized basis, which is three tenths of a point higher than expected. Um, you know, again, when we look at these two data points and we've had a couple months of, you know, seeing that inflation number kind of rebound, um, you know, we start to think about, uh, you know, a term that pundits are throwing out right now, stagflation, um, which is basically where the economy grows at a slower p uh, pace while inflation rises. Um, again, it's a little bit too early to say. Uh, it's, it's something that we saw back in uh, the 1970s. Uh, but let's also not forget the, the term Goldilocks economy was being thrown around for a little bit where uh, we could lower inflation without disturbing the economy. So again, there's a lot of data that you know continues to come out that we continue to sift through. Um, and then meanwhile, we also look at the geopolitical risks, um, you know, that kind of weigh in uh, to the market. Yeah, we t sometimes we tend to forget that it's not an easy process, right? I mean, like, you know, we, we have uh, had a cyclical economy with booms and busts over over centuries for reasons. Um, certainly one of the things, one of the comments made earlier this week was from Jamie Dimon at uh, JP Morgan observed that, you know, whether it's stagflation or other problems, the the op the chance of a soft landing, you know, kind of threading that needle, maintaining growth while bringing inflation down is uh, is the exception, not the rule historically. And so, it, you know, we don't underestimate the work the Fed has in front of it. Although, you know, again, uh, there will definitely be voices uh, raised after that disappointing GDP number to say that uh, the Fed should go ahead with rate cuts uh, sooner rather than later, uh, certainly maybe sooner than they want to. So we'll see how that plays out, certainly at the June uh, Fed meeting, which is, isn't that far away at this point. Uh, over in the muni market, a very heavy calendar of new issues uh, that a lot of activity keeping investors busy there. What uh, what kind of uh, things led up the board? Yeah, so in Muniland, uh, I just want to start with the you know tax exempt yields MMD. Um, kind of like Treasuries, we're just following. We're going higher. Um, we we're setting uh, new year to date highs. Uh, it's just it's not something that we were really even expecting or talking about earlier this year, but it, it, it's the reality. Yeah, so we had a, a very heavy calendar. Um, we had 15 billion um, of supply this week. That was headlined by Brightline and LAUSD. Those were three billion a piece. Um, I think everybody in the market kind of saw those deals uh, uh, kind of lead the way. Um, for BAM, at least, we uh, insured 12 transactions for 280 million a par. Uh, it was a great week for us. Um, the deal that I want to highlight is the $105 million Bell County Water Control Improvement District uh, in Texas. That was Raymond James. And then there was a $48 million Three Rivers Regional Wastewater Authority in Washington. And that was with Barclays. And viewers uh, can go to BAM's YouTube page. We do have a specific Credit Insights video with uh, Managing Vice President Mark Capel talking about th that Three Rivers transaction. Relatively unusual uh, to have a uh, business out of the state of Washington. And that transaction was also a Green Bond, BAM Green Star transaction. So uh, you can learn more about that on BAM's webpage. Uh, just before we uh, sign off, David, on the demand side, we did see a rebound back to slightly positive inflows to municipal mutual funds. That was not what was driving demand for these transactions, this heavy calendar this week. Although, you know, the, the two transactions you mentioned, uh, LA Unified and uh, um, uh, uh, Brightline, were both refinancings of existing uh, obligations. So at some level, it was putting money back to work, although uh, there, there definitely needed to be some, uh, some new demand coming into the market. And so those transactions uh, apparently did pretty well. Thanks for your time uh, this week, David. We'll uh, talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike.